You're watching BTV. 700 million people around the world are afflicted with mental health disorders that include depression, PTSD, and addiction. The direct and indirect costs are two and a half trillion dollars a year. And many of the existing pharmaceutical treatments either don't work that well or not at all. Sybin thinks the time has come for a different approach. The primary focus of Sybin is to take classical psychedelic molecules and transform them into useful therapeutic agents for mental health disorders. We've been for too long uh, trying to treat just the signs and symptoms of these diseases and now we have an ability to really address the underlying causes of depression and anxiety and addiction. The effects of naturally occurring psychedelic substances have been known since 2000 BC, but research into how psychedelics actually work in the brain only began in the 1960s. Sybin's chief of R&D explains why treatment with psychedelics is a fundamental breakthrough. There are really two very important differences between a psychedelic and a classical pharmaceutical like say Prozac. One is that they work much more quickly the first dose and you're seeing a response. And the, the other thing which is really, really important is that you don't have to give them every day to get a treatment response. Also, they work in treating patients that don't respond to the other drugs. This is the, what they call the therapy resistant group. Those are the big breakthroughs. Helping establish Sybin as a leader in the psychedelic space is the acquisition of Adelia Therapeutics and a partnership with Kernel. The Kernel team's done a phenomenal job. They've taken this neuroimaging technology, which typically would take up a whole room and cost millions of dollars, and turned it into something portable. So we can look inside the brain and see what's happening before, during, and after. A treatment. So that gives us the ability to collect a lot more data that's quantitative and not just qualitative depression scales or, or other scales that are sometimes used in psychiatry. The acquisition of Adelia Therapeutics brought us tremendous uh, experience in medicinal chemistry uh, and a phenomenal team that has a long history of developing not only pharmaceuticals but also developing psychedelics. Sybin has already filed 10 patent applications. As a disruptor, Sybin knows they're being watched with great interest. The stakes are very high. Big Pharma is paying attention already. The biopharmaceutical industry will demonstrate that these products are such important additions to our therapeutic toolbox that I would predict within five years we're going to see uh, psychedelic drugs approved for treating uh, a number of serious mental illness problems. So by definition, the pharmaceutical industry will become interested. This is a paradigm shift. Yeah, this is really a paradigm shift. Long term, we're aspiring to be an integrated mental health care company. Right now, the focus is largely around drug discovery and drug development. We're waiting for approval to begin a phase two study with our sublingual film formulation of psilocybin for depression. Our goal is to make these treatments reimbursable and therefore broadly accessible. And that's what our belief is that by taking these molecules through the pharmaceutical route and making sure they're reimbursable by governments and by payers means that everyone can get access to them that needs them. We have a global issue and, and inadequate treatments and that's a problem we're trying to solve. Sybin has built a discovery pipeline of over 50 proprietary psychedelic molecules, has completed 20 preclinical trials, and has also commenced four drug development programs.